Hello, welcome to lesson 18 Types of Methods in C Sharp brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn rest of the two categories. They are based on who defined it and based on parameters. Right now, we will jump into based on who defined it category. Based on who defined it, it, has, it is having two categories mainly framework defined methods and user defined methods. Framework defined methods means it is already defined in the framework and we are going to use those methods, for example, right line, right, etc. User defined methods, it means that user is going to define certain methods, for example, if you want to do a, if you want to write a method for addition then it will create an addition method called add then if you want to do a multiplication method then you will use a multiplication method called multiply this is the difference between framework defined methods and user defined methods to tell in simple framework defined methods are defined by the framework user defined methods are defined by the user itself to understand that we will jump into visual studio here we will set it a startup project we will see user defined methods and framework defined methods for example example use uh, framework defined methods every time when i print a statement on the console i'll use a right line function and that right line function is defined by the framework itself for example i would like to show console dot whenever i press a dot operator uh, that console class is having certain methods in it for example i would take the right line method right line method what this right line method does is it writes the current line terminator to the standard output stream and this right line method is the framework defined method this is c sharp demo and as i said the right line is the framework defined method because it's already it's already defined in the framework now we'll see what is we'll see what is user defined method suppose i want to define a method then i would i would i'll first create access modifier I'll write the access modifier first then uh, i want to decide whether my method will return anything or it will not return since it's an example i'll i'll take it as void because it will not return anything and i'll and I would like to show a method which will do addition of two numbers so I'll take return type as integer integer then integer addition means it requires two numbers so I'll take parameters int a comma int b now once I'm done with this okay I'll make it as static now once I've done this add method does not now what I'll do return a plus b okay now once I'm having a method which will add two numbers and the parameters are a and b and the return type is integer what I how, how can I call this method I can call this method in the main method by just the method name and that method requires two parameters I'll give 10 comma 20 now I want to print this add so I'll save it in a one integer called an integer variable called s I'm, I'm giving this add method to a variable called s so it will be very easy, easy to print it on the console by just calling that variable now you can observe here Console dot right line. What I said that right line is a user defined framework, user defined method, and this is this method add method is defined by the user. So that is the difference between the user defined method and the use and framework defined method. User defined method will be de defined by the user. Framework defined method will be defined in the framework itself already before. Now, once I run this, Control F5, it will provide me output as expected. This is C sharp demo, and the output is 30. Of addition of two numbers now we'll jump into another category that is based on parameters it falls under two categories one is call by value and another one is call by reference now we have uh, we are, I'm having examples for this for these categories I would like to open now I'll fire up Visual Studio here 
here this demo is for call by value what is this call by value we'll see it now here I'm having a class called test and this class is having a method called no change and it takes two parameters int i and int j and it does not return anything and what I'm trying to do here is I'm taking that those variables i is equal to i plus j and j is equal to minus j and I'm having a class called call by value what I'm trying to do here is I'm creating object of test the object name is ob and I'm assigning values I'm creating variables called a and b and I'm assigning values 15 and 20 respectively and in this line I'm printing that values and observe here this is very important ob dot means object dot and and I'm accessing this method no change and I'm passing it and since it takes two parameters I'm passing a and b that is a is equal to 15 and b is equal to 20 and I'm printing that on the console when I run this program I have to set it a startup project first when I run this program the output is same a and b before call is equal to 15 and 20 a and b after call is equal to 15 and 20 it means what it means that as you can see the operations as you can see the operations that occur in the no changes the, this these are the operations that occur in the no change this operations have no effect on the values of a and b what I'm passing here again this is because the copies of a and b the copies of the value a and b that's 15 and 20 are given to parameters i and j I've given to parameter the values of a and b here are given to parameters i and j but a and b are otherwise completely independent of a and j thus assigning i a new value will not affect the a therefore when you call by value the values what you will pass will not get affected that is that is why the results we got it as same 15 and 20 for uh, just printing that line and afterwards for the method which we called using the test creating object of the test then also the values of a and b did not change it remains 15 and 20 only now we'll see another demo which explains you call by reference here is the demo for that I'm having an example I'm setting it a startup project first here is an example for that now here is also here also we have a class called test and I'm having two variables int a and b fields int a and b variables sorry int a and b are the variables of return type integer and the access modifier is public and I'm having a constructor constructor name is test it should be same as the class name I'm having two it is taking two parameters i and j and what it is doing it's initializing values to a and b that is a is equal to i b is equal to j and I'm having a method called change what I'm doing here is here, here I'm creating an object of test o, test that is ob is the object then using ob I'm accessing a and b then I'm using ob dot a is equal to ob dot b and in the next line I'm doing another operation ob dot b is equal to minus ob dot b I have set of operations in this change method we'll discuss it later now in the main method I'm creating an object of the test class how do I create test ob is equal to new test since it is by called by reference what I'm trying to do here is I've created an object here initially I'm passing the values to the test method it takes two parameters it takes two parameters here in the uh, create a constructor here it is taking two parameters i and j here by default I have to pass two parameters 15 and 20 then I'll print those values it will be executed as 15 and 20 but keep observe the change here ob dot change here I'm not passing the values I'm just passing the object of it once I pass the object of it this part will get executed that is the specialty of call by reference so we'll get the output as we'll run the program you can see the output my file is getting scanned okay you can see the change ob dot a before call will be 15 and 20 once it is called it is 35 minus 20 that is the major difference between call by value and call by reference in call by value what are the values you change in the method in the class will not affect in the calling method but in the reference method that thing doesn't happen whatever the values you assign 
it will be changed in the calling method that is the ref difference between call by reference and call by value thank you have a great day please subscribe to ankpro training below